All right, y'all. So I am in the I'm I'm in the emergency room. Y'all, my baby. I hope y'all can hear me. But my son had a seizure. Literally the scariest moment of my life. I thought my baby was gone, y'all. So we're in the emergency room. He okay now. He sleep. He sleep. They keeping him overnight to um, monitor him, make sure he don't have another seizure. He had a fever. He wasn't feeling good. Um, he went to school today. Everything was fine. When I picked him up from school, they told me like he wasn't himself. Um, he didn't eat. That's not like him. He wasn't eating. And he was the first one to take a nap. Usually he fight his naps every day. So I kind of was already like, you know, like, oh, he probably is sick. When we got home, he had like a runny nose and stuff like that. And he took a nap. Um, we went, got Mari. When he woke up, I mean, when we went, got Mari. And then he just was like, you know, wanting to lay on me, normal sick behavior. And then he said he was hungry, so I cooked. They was eating their food. Mari was done. He was eating his food. And he just fell back. So I thought he was choking. I went, got him. His eyes was like rolling back. And he was having a seizure, y'all. So I had to call 911 so they could come. Y'all, it was just so scary. Like, his parent, scariest moment. Like, you holding your child and then... You don't know what to do. Like, you don't, you don't know what's going on. I thought he was going to choke off his food. Then he starts shaking. That's when I knew it was a seizure. Like, it was just so scary. 911, they're taking forever to come. Like, it was just a lot. But he's, they gave him some medicine. He hasn't had another one. They gave him some medicine. So he's, like, sleeping, drowsy. And then they're keeping him overnight. So in the morning, they can do a... I want to say an EKG. No, that's with your heart. A EEG, basically like to look at his brain and make sure, you know, he's not having another one or anything like that. Um, it was just a scary moment. Mari was there. Like, she didn't see when he was having a seizure, but, you know, she heard me. You know, everything going on when the paramedics came in. So she was crying and stuff. Luckily, her dad stays like two minutes up the road, so he was able to come get her so I could ride in the ambulance with him. And y'all, this has been a, a crazy day. My aunt is actually at the same hospital um, for her medical issues that's going on with her. She's still here. So, it's just, it's just a crazy day. Crazy day, y'all. So, just make sure y'all hug y'all kids and love on y'all kids because honey i thought i was losing mine and i don't wish that on nobody y'all but he's doing okay he's sleeping it's like 11 almost 12 o'clock my mom just left it's like almost 12 o'clock um i'm we still in the er room i'm waiting on them to give us a regular room so i can y'all know i used to work at the hospital so i know them rooms they got a little couch thing you pull out i'm ready to pull it out and I probably won't sleep much, but at least, you know, lay back. Um, Mari's not going to school tomorrow because she, you know, she's trying to make sure her brother's okay. I did talk to her and told her, you know, it's okay. But then her grandma told me that she woke back up and was worried. So she's sleep now. I'm going to call her in the morning, but I told him not to send her to school. So I'm going to message her teacher in the morning. And then she has a eye doctor's appointment. Because remember, I told y'all she failed her eye test. So, if I am not out of here by then, um, I'm going to get her dad to take her. Because they already told me they don't have any more appointments till February. She was telling me that when she was calling to make the appointment. So, she can't really miss that. So, I'm going to have her dad take her. Um... Yeah, and I got, like, her insurance card and stuff, but I could go online and send him a picture of it, but, yeah, so, 
honey. It's just been a day. But yeah, I just wanted to update y'all. And I, if anything else happened, I'd let y'all know. But just wanted to update y'all. And another thing, I just thought of something. So I had a fever. I mean, I had a seizure when I was just young from a fever as well. And I thought it was just like when your fever gets to a certain height. I mean, a certain temperature that you can have a fever. But the nurse that just came in told me that it's not when it gets to a certain temperature. It's how fast it rises. So, if you go from like 98 to 103, like in a short period of span, you could have a seizure as a child. So, just wanted to tell y'all that because I never knew that. So, that was new to know. But, yeah. Okay, y'all, so we finally in the room, here in the bed. They got the little things up um, in case he has another seizure. Like, I think I told y'all they was keeping him overnight already. Um, what else? So they just gonna be monitoring him all night. He is knocked out, he's tired. He's tired of them poking, picking at him. Cause you know, when you come from the ER to the regular room, they gotta recheck everything and stuff like that. So he's over that. But he's sleeping right now. I'm about to just get in the bed with him. Um, I probably won't get much sleep tonight, if any. She was telling me like, you know, they're able to check the monitors from the nurse's station and then, uh, the little ankle monitor thing, you know, if someone take your baby, that goes off. But I asked her, like, if he was to have another seizure, are they able to see that from the monitor? And she said, no, I would have to let them know that. So, that, you know, I'm scared, so. But yeah, so I probably won't get too much sleep tonight. So yeah, I just wanted to tell y'all that we he already sleep i'm about to lay beside him and oh y'all can't see me i'm about to lay beside him and enjoy their cable hopefully first 48 is on because that's what i used to do i used to do housekeeping and baby i used to turn on first 48 on thursdays they do a marathon all day so i would watch it all day but yeah all right all right y'all oh let me Cause I don't know how he's feeling better. Yeah, say good morning. He finally eating some cheeses. I'm gonna show y'all the breakfast that they just gave us. So this looks good. A omelet, some scrambled eggs. Look at them potatoes. Some muffins, some bacon. Yeah. Let me feed him. You want some bacon? You want some potatoes? You don't like them? Okay, how about some bacon? You probably not gonna like this because you like your bacon crispy. Is that yummy? And look, here's a muffin. You want some muffin? Hmm, take a bite. Is that yummy? You like it? Yeah. Brown. Brown? Yeah. What you want? Juice? He's eating, y'all. So that is a good sign. I got an omelet. Okay. You want to try some eggs? Oh, you want more potatoes? This gave me memories. I was pregnant with her. Your potatoes bust. They like extra season. Um, want some eggs? You 
don't like them? No, I like it. Okay, that's fine. Want some put more potatoes? Okay. Hmm. This omelet, y'all. So you can order a kid's tray and you can order a parent's tray. They had to fix this, uh, they had to fix, um, for some reason I couldn't order a kid's tray, but they just fixed it. So, I'm probably gonna order him something on there. Let me see. Some more potatoes? Not some more potatoes? Oh, muffins? Okay. I'm just glad he eating, y'all. So. This school had just called me. They call anytime the child is missing. So I told her that he was in the hospital. Is that yummy? Mm. You only want this muffin. That's okay. You can have whatever you like. Maybe I'll get you some fruit. Some mini muffins. And a bacon egg and cheese sandwich. You gonna hold it? That boy hungry, y'all. He he ain't eat all day yesterday. That's your pull up. You want potatoes? <coughs> When I was pregnant with him, y'all, yeah. these apple juices. Yeah. And I was working here. Honey, they ain't stand a chance. They ain't stand a chance. Yeah. The sprites, too. Yeah. But then, you know, I worked here. Hmm? Hey. What's wrong? What? What's over there? Your nose? Yeah. Okay, here's the nap. <laughs> the sprites too I had like of course but I worked here when it was uh, COVID so um I guess they tried to fix their funding they switched the shop to baby so that kind of That kind of like threw me. He trying to eat these cheeses. Trying to get him some some heavy food. What you want? Cheeses. Crackers. Crackers. You. You're welcome. But yeah, I just wanted to show y'all this. I'm about to order his crack. I think I'm gonna get him some mini muffins because he could eat that like later. Some um a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. And maybe like some fruit. He like fruit. We got bananas, strawberries, um, get him some peaches. So peaches. The mini muffins, they say that's blueberry, apple, cinnamon, and a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. So, yeah. Okay, y'all. So, I think this, yeah, it's like 12. He's sleepy. <laughs> he is feeling better. Um, 
we've been talking and stuff. They did the EEG test to do the study on his brain. Um, I don't know if we wait on those results before we leave or what the doctors haven't done any rounds yet. So kind of just waiting on them to do that to see what their plan is. Um, he hasn't had any more seizures. That boy mouth is so big. He tired though, cause you know they come in the room, keep checking his temperature and stuff. I'm tired too, but I'll sleep another time. But I'm just sitting here. Um, he did good with the EEG test. They put like a bunch of wires around his head, give him like a mummy wrap, and they do that for 30 minutes. He did good up until like the last five minutes. He was over it. Um, he's sweet now. Y'all see him eat, he ate a good amount. Um, and now, yeah, we're just waiting to see what, you know, what their plan is. He hasn't had any more fevers. The last one he had was about four this morning. It was like 102. And they gave him some more um, Tylenol then. He hasn't had any more since then. Let me see, four years. It's been over six hours, but he hasn't had a fever. So, that's good. He's just catching his disease right now. I talked to Mari because, you know, she was so, um, you know, she didn't see him having a seizure, but she seen my reaction, you know, the ambulance coming and stuff like that. I think I do remember her asking, like, what's wrong with my brother? And, you know, she started crying. So, I talked to her. Um... And Elias talked to her too and said, hey, sister, and he loved her and stuff like that. So she feels better. She was playing with her Play-Doh. She didn't go to school today. So, And now she has an eye doctor appointment at 3.30. Her dad is going to take her because obviously I can't. And um, I didn't want to reschedule because they don't have anything all the way into February. So want to go ahead and get her in there just in case she do need glasses so we can go ahead and get that ball rolling so i gotta send him like the insurance cards and all of that good stuff uh, but yeah so we just really waiting i kind of want to take a quick little nap but i know somebody's gonna be coming in here so it's no point but yeah he ate a good amount i forgot to tell him he ate them peaches too and he's having wet diapers, so. Everybody's checking in on him. Yeah. And then today is my Nana's birthday. So, happy heavenly birthday to her. I know she's been watching over the family yesterday, like she does any other day. I know, I know, you know. I know she's like, what is going on down there, like? But yeah, so she, it's her birthday today, so rest in peace to her. And yeah, I'm just going to see what is going on, what they plan to do here. You know, I did have, they did say I could go home, yes, last night if I wanted to, and then just schedule an appointment with a neurologist, but I wasn't easy. I, I didn't feel good to go home. Um. I wanted to just be here just in case, you know, something else happened. But he's, like, really warm to the touch, but he, they say he doesn't have a fever, so. Yeah, he's sleeping. He's not stinky. Snoring. Because he worked a hard shift. But, yes, y'all, so I just wanted to update y'all. And I'll let, I'll let y'all know what the verdict is. But yeah. So it's been a while since I've been on here. It's like four o'clock. I think somebody about to come in, but they about to discharge him. Um, he ended up being another fever, but they did the, the results for their brain test. So like he doesn't have epilepsy or any seizure disorder. So they think the seizure came just from the fever. So um, yeah, they're gonna discharge us. 
and will discharge him. And then they said if I wanted to stay, you know, it'll be fine. Um, but they would just, you know, give him the Tylenol every six hours to try to break this fever. But this is a symptom to COVID. So they're going to discharge us. They put in the orders. Um, my mom is going to come get us because I rode in the ambulance. And my family member that is actually here is getting discharged as well. So it kind of worked out. We're getting discharged about the same time. So I'm going to have my mom drop us off. Um, my dad took her to her eye doctor's appointment. She has to get glasses for the classroom. She has a sig hold on, because I always mess this word up. Sigmatism. She has a sigmatism. Um, so they said for the classroom, she needs glasses. So I'm gonna give her a prescription for that. I don't want him to choose the glasses. So yeah, I'm about to tell him that. I don't even know if I told y'all, Mari gotta get glasses. Y'all, this is too much. This mama is stressed. This mama is stressed. I'm ready to go home and cuddle up with my kids. And both of them. Hopefully they discharge us soon. Okay, y'all. So, yeah, like I was saying, we got home last night. Um, Elias right here, he watching his tablet. Mari is in her room because she didn't go to school. Because your doctor just called me. His pediatrician office just called me. They um, wanted to do a follow-up for tomorrow. So... Yeah, that's what we're doing tomorrow, a follow-up appointment, which is good because he still has a high fever. Um, I just checked it at like 7, whenever I woke up. Last night I slept good. I woke up every uh, three hours to still give him the medicine. I think we went to sleep like 8.30, y'all. Maybe like 9 because Mari wanted to take a bath. He wanted to take a bubble bath. I mean, she wanted to take a bubble bath. You okay? I don't know, baby. Oh, you burning up. She wanted to take a bubble bath. So I let her do that. So you're yeah, probably like nine in. Because I knew I was going to have to be getting up every three hours to do the, the Tylenol and uh, Motrin. But other than that, we slept good. Um, so this morning, about seven... His temperature was 102, so he still has the fever. So we just trying to break it. So I'm glad that he has an appointment tomorrow. I told him to call when um, we get there. So we're not in the waiting room exposing the people, which I love that. But yes, yeah, so um, that's all that's going on. Mari's in her room watching her iPad. I asked her if she wanted to come in here with us. She said no. So, yeah, we really just chilling. He's probably going to go to sleep, honestly, because he's tired. So, yeah, that's what's going on. He ate some cereal. He ate a full bowl of cereal, which is good. And when he woke up, he wanted water. He, bar he barely asked for water. Like, he always asked for juice. So I gave him some water, you know, so he could stay hydrated. And he ate his cereal. He drank a little bit of the milk. Um, Mari ate her banana. So yeah, I haven't ate. I I I can't eat this early. But yeah, so we just gonna be in the house chilling, trying to get better today. Um, just hugging on my babies. But yeah, I don't know why Mari don't want to be in here. But yeah, so that's what's going on. Um, maybe when he goes to sleep, I'll um, straighten up because this house just looks crazy. It looks crazy. Every room looks crazy. Except for the kitchen. That's clean. 
but yeah so i'm gonna um i'm gonna uh try to clean up and stuff when he go to sleep i kind of don't want to let him out my sight too much and i guess this is my nerves being bad because i was telling my um, friend justice i was like i'm glad like you know um i'm there when my kids are eating like you know I, if i'm not sitting with them i could see them because if i wouldn't i wouldn't have known that he had you know passed out because he like fell back and i thought he was choking but then when i picked him up that's when he started seizing so if i wasn't if i didn't see that like how long would it have been like if i even if i had went to the bathroom for a second like you know so yeah i kind of don't want to let him out my sight just watching him and stuff knowing he got this fever just ready for it to break the doctors tomorrow probably won't do too much. They can't do too much because you, know, you can't give him anything. He's only two. You okay? You alright? Big boy? You yeah, gonna fight it, okay? Okay. You look so sick. But yeah, I just wanted to update y'all. So, yes. I'll let y'all know what goes on if anything else happens today. Let me tend to my baby. I know. Okay. Yeah, here go Mari. It's time. Do I have some grapes? Eat some. Yeah. Eat some. Oh, you like some grapes. Give me the grapes. No, I'm not going to eat. Why you don't want it? It's probably because I have green on it. Watch this one. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Everybody was saying he was so polite. But say hey, good morning. Hold on, let me turn this up here. Good morning, everybody. Hey, morning. Tell them why you're not at school. Because I really don't want to go to school because I won't be able to see the screen. That's why I don't want to That is school. not why you're not at school. You're not at school because your brother is sick and I don't want you to pass any germs off to your hey, classmates. Hey, I did it. I did it. Hey, 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 tomorrow I got a field trip. Hope my brother feel better. Yeah. Y'all, so I told y'all she went to the eye doctor. This girl... She gotta get glasses. This girl gonna say she couldn't see the board at school. She ain't never told nobody she couldn't see the board. Why is that? Uh, so, yo, after we feel better and stuff, I'm gonna. I mean, your brother, and because, yeah, uh, we're going to get her glasses probably next week. Uh, Got to uh, make an appointment. I don't want to. I want to have glasses, but I hope, hope the glasses be purple. You just said pink last night. I know that you said it may be, well, natural everything, so I'll get it purple. Anyways, y'all, I just wanted her to say hey, because she hasn't been on here the whole vlog. Uh-huh, I've been here on on the vlog of me going to the doctor's. Yeah, that was a different vlog. This is a new video. I started this video uh, when I was telling them your brother was in the hospital. So they haven't seen you. So I just wanted them to see you. That you're well and you're healthy and you're beautiful. And you still want some more grapes? Show them your feet, girl. She got herself dressed, y'all. Show them your feet. Uh oh. Purple or purple? Ooh, got the tada. I'm the purple grape and Ooh. I'm eating purple grapes. Ooh. Hey, it's <laughs> 
Alright, so let me just see if you gonna help me clean up this house. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna start when your brother go to sleep. Okay. Let me just uh, see them later. I'll see you later. Take it. Take it. Take it. Okay, I don't know where my tripod is. Elias, he crying. He only want me over there. But I'm trying to cook. I have to cook because we gotta eat. I'm making breakfast. Same thing, y'all. French toast. You okay, baby? Alright, Marty's in there watching him, make sure he don't fall back or nothing like that. I'm right in next one. I'm making breakfast. The same thing I've been seeing me do. I'm making bacon eggs, French toast, and grits this time. Yeah, because they, they look like French toast. <clears throat> so that's what we got going on. I took out what I'm cooking tonight, which is, I showed y'all in one of them hauls. Chicken legs, I make some macaroni. This one got my eye crust, y'all. It's just been a lot going on. But yeah, I just want to update y'all. He, we just all woke up. But, why is he like this? But, um, you know how you sick and you have your burst of, your burst of energy? You feel better and then, I guess you overwork yourself and now you feel on the pain again. That's kind of what he got going on. I just wanted to show you, update y'all, so, yeah. I'll show y'all my food. Okay, y'all, this is my plate right here. Bacon, egg, and cheese, and some cheese grits. Kids got French toast and bacon. But, yeah, just wanted to show y'all that. Love a bacon, egg, and cheese. Okay, y'all, so, I'm sorry, his tablet is loud, but he is feeling better. He don't have no clothes on right now, so... I can't show him, but he's feeling better right now. Um, when I checked his temperature like an hour ago, it was 101, so he still has a fever. Um, but he, he had, I'm sorry, we just ate. He has, um, he's feeling better. He just ate, because earlier when I cooked that breakfast, he had French toast and bacon, he didn't eat any of it. But he's been drinking, so he's staying hydrated. But he just ate um, some chicken and he ate two cups of peaches. So that's good. And um, he's shivering. You cold? Yeah. Yeah, red truck. So I'm about to give him a bath right now because he hasn't had one since we've been home from the hospital. He ain't had one at the hospital. So it's been a few days. But I'm about to give him a bath, a good bath. I would like to wash his hair because. When they did the test, they put these wires like in his hair. It's like whatever cream they use is all dried up in his head. But he don't like getting his hair washed, so I don't, I don't even feel like doing that to him right now. So I'm gonna leave his hair alone. But I'm about to give him a good bath and everything, and then um, then we about to go to bed. It's like 8:30. Mari ate her food. You want more chicken? You gotta eat this one. Huh. Yeah. Okay, this one is ill too. You see that? I have to get you another piece. Huh. But it's good he wanna eat he getting his appetite back, huh? But yeah, so I just wanted to check in with y'all. Um, I probably end this vlog tomorrow after his doctor's appointment, letting y'all know what it say, what they say there, and that'll be the end of this vlog. And hopefully he feels better soon. But it's Vlogmas. By the time y'all are seeing this, it's day one of Vlogmas. So it's not how I wanted it to go planned, but life doesn't go planned. And when you have kids, it definitely does not go planned. So this is just a realistic vlog. Um, also, I had a few people email me. Hold on, baby. I had a few people email me. And I think I seen a few comments. People asking me to set up a P.O. box or um, set up a, a Amazon registry. I guess, you know, people want to help me get stuff since I just moved. So... It'll be, the registry will be linked in this video. 
Um, y'all don't have to give me nothing because I already didn't even want to do that. But a lot of people was like, just go ahead and do it. Like, you know, it's a blessing. Don't block your blessings. So, it'll be listed in the description box below. And if you guys want to get something, go ahead. If not, y'all just watching is a big enough blessing for us. So, I just want to let y'all know that. So, I'll see you guys um, tomorrow at his daughter's appointment. And we'll go ahead and end this vlog out then. So, yeah. Good morning, y'all. So, we are on the way to his doctor's appointment now. I don't know why that man was just waving at me. But, we are on the way to his doctor's appointment. I still haven't got that Christmas tree out of that trunk. But, yeah, we're on the way to his doctor's appointment. Y'all, he is just he's sick but he's just giving me a hard time you know they say like when men is sick and when boys is sick like they just they 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 just take it out awfully y'all like every little thing is just ticking him off his sock it was like you know too big so it keeps slipping off he's like my sock like just screaming and y'all my patience it's just it's thin it's very thin like I said I know my baby's sick so I'm just trying to take trying to just you know take it one thing at a time and then he don't want me out his sight it feels like I got a newborn y'all he don't want me out his sight I tried to cook me a little bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. Y'all know I love those. Try to cook me a little bacon, egg, and cheese. Y'all, this boy had a fit. I'm like, okay, so if I'm not making the food for you, I can't have any food. But nonetheless, yeah, we're on the way to his doctor's appointment. Look at the city, y'all. It's just gloomy, wintry. But, yeah, we're going to see what they talking about, what they going to say. He still got a fever. I checked it um, in the middle of the night, about 4 this morning. It was like 102. Then this morning, about 7, it was 101. So, he's still in those low 100s. I haven't seen 90 since he, um, since he was at the hospital. But... I'm still giving him the Tylenol and Motrin to try to break it. Um, he last night, oh, I was telling y'all last night, he was like tearing that chicken up. So he ate and he's staying hydrated. And I'm going to probably get him some Pedialyte. Pedialyte today because... When we was at the hospital, he was like 29 pounds. Now, mind you, at the dentist, he just had a dentist appointment. Y'all seen that vlog. What was that, like a week ago? He had a, a week or two ago, he had a dentist appointment. He was 34, 35 pounds. So, he, when he gets sick, he lose weight quick. And last year about this time, yeah, it was like last, de not last December. It was the year before that. Yeah, it was the year before that he had COVID. Not last December, but the year before that, when we all had COVID, he had dropped a lot of weight then. But then when it was his uh, yearly checkup in April, like, he still didn't gain that weight back. So, it was, um, it was, uh, they were saying, like, he, he wasn't on a growth chart. So, I don't like that. So, when he get better, baby, he can have anything. He did eat some. I gave him some peaches. He ain't really eat them today. Then after I let them, he had them sitting on the tray for like 30 minutes. He had came and laid down and stuff. I put them back in the refrigerator. He like, my fruits. Yeah, so he only ate a few, like half the cup of that. He ate a whole bunch of barbecue chips. He just want a snack. I tried to, uh, give him some bacon and eggs he talked about he don't want it so maybe after this doctor's appointment he'll be hungry mari went to school today um she got a field trip they want to go see disney on ice i usually go with her to her field trips but you have to have a background check and mine didn't come back in time 
and it's crazy. Like it, you had it had to come back by a certain date um, for the kids and the chaperones to go, and mine literally came back like two days later. And I was mad at first, but I'm like, I'm glad they do background checks just for the simple fact that um, are they dropping off toys for Tosh? That's good. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm glad they do background checks because. You don't know who these who these parents is that be around your kids. So, I won't even complain too much. I just told her, you know, make sure you have your listening ears on. They should be about to, yeah, they about to leave the school now and it's 10. But I told her, you know, have your listening ears on. Make sure you're paying attention because you're leaving the school today. Like, this is not a time to be goofing off with your friends, none of that. So... Yeah, I I'll show her so she could tell y'all how it was, and then her dad is taking her on Sunday to to Disney on Ice. So yes, that's what's going on. But we almost to this doctor's appointment, so I will let y'all know what they say, how it goes, and stuff like that. He looked like he about to go to sleep, y'all, and I'm about to push him in that stroller because he he ain't been walking too much. Like I said, he's sick. But baby, I ain't healed him this much in a very, very long time. So we're gonna have to pull a stroller out and oh I hope that stroller is not in the house. I don't know. Even if it is, I it's up under that Christmas tree. So Lord, I didn't think about that. But yeah, I'll let y'all know what they say. I'm rambling. Bye. Hey y'all, so let me update y'all on um My neighbors are, I'm thinking a little weird. But let me update y'all on his appointment. They ended up calling me when I was on the way there saying that they're gonna move it to a virtual a virtual appointment. They'll be asking how is he, um, was there any updates? I told them his last temperature readings and stuff like that. So that she was just telling me if, since he's on day three, um, they usually say like the first five days is when his temperature was still, be the same for the fever so she said it shouldn't i told her the highest has been since we left the hospital is 102 it ranges from 100 to 102 she said it should be going down now i'm um, in the next 24 to 48 hours and if it does jump up to like 103 105 i should bring him back to the er so which i don't think it'll go because now like all morning he's kind of been since we He's been uh, feeling fine. Um, yeah, he's been fit. Let me turn the light on. All morning, he's been feeling fine. And right now, he's actually playing with his toys, which he hasn't done that. So, but I want to show y'all, I got a haul for y'all. His school recommended this program, and I want to show y'all everything they gave us so I am going to empty out the bags and set up and give you guys a haul so one second us like completely free like it is a blessing y'all so let me just tell y'all everything yeah so let me just tell y'all everything that is in there Okay, so it's food, household stuff, and T-O-Y-S's, which this will be for Christmas. This is Maribel from Encanto. Then Mari got a pair of shoes. She's hard on shoes, so it's never enough, y'all. She is hard on shoes. Eli's got two monster trucks. I need to put them up. And Mari got a dollhouse. Oh, this is what it is. Folding gum with a dollhouse. I seen this. Books a piece, so ten books. This 
extra ones for my bunch of reading books. And then some books for Elias. Pack of pull ups. A pair of socks a piece for them. Some new underwear in one pair. House, I mean, a bar soap, you know, household things now. Bar soap. Two packs of Lysol wipes. A box of uh, multi tampons. This is dishwashing liquid. Got two things of those. Mari got a bath bomb. I'll probably put this in her Christmas stuff. Got some cold gates. And then these are baby wipes. And then on to food. I got a few things of these uh, frozen peaches. I used to eat these in school. I think you guys will like them. A few of these single Echo Waffles. A pack of spaghetti noodles, a pack of Oreos, two things of peanut butter, two things of grapes, a can of spaghetti sauce, and then I got five of these alkaline waters. Those are going to be good. And we got a few cans of corn, can of peaches. Then we got meat. A pound of ground beef. And then we got two of these center cut boneless pork chops. Probably like four in a pack. And then we got a pack of chicken legs. And then for the clothes, you could pick out um, five, either five or six items of clothes for each child. So I'll show y'all. This is Mari's. Just a plain, plain long sleeve shirt. Another long sleeve shirt. Okay. Little sweatshirt. This is a shirt, and it's crazy. When I seen this one, I had to pick it out. Uh, Thanksgiving two years ago, she. This is from Carter's. Yep. Thanksgiving two years ago, she had the same shirt, and it wear with some little gray leggings. Huh? Your nose. Go get some tissue. Go get some tissue, mommy don't have none. Then this, I think it's like a little dress, little long sleeve dress. And then another long sleeve shirt. So that's her clothes. And let me show you Elias clothes. Oh, I forgot to show y'all. Got some bowls and plates because you can never have enough. I believe Elias threw away all my bowls. Hold on, my mom called him. Hold on. Thank y'all. So I think I had to show y'all Elias clothes. I got him this little sweatshirt for the dinosaur. Y'all know he loves the dinosaur. Then I got him this little. Y'all know he loves a dinosaur. Then I got him this. Home along sleeve. Got him this polo sweatshirt. Cute, right? What's that? 3T. They didn't have much 2T, so I got him 3T stuff. I don't want to sit down. Then I got him this shirt. How to draw dinosaurs. I got him a plain long sleeve. And then I got him this dinosaur hoodie. That's all the clothes I got him. And 
yeah, I think that is everything, y'all. I think that is everything. Um, so yeah, this will be the end of this vlog. Let me show y'all him. He's feeling better. Say hey to the vlog, Elias. Hi, kids. Kids. Say I'm feeling good. Kids. He still looks sick, but he's feeling better. He getting into stuff, so I know he he getting himself together. Um, so yeah, y'all. I'm about to put the food items up, but this will be the end of this vlog. When you guys are seeing this, it should be vlogmas day two i mean day one when you guys are seeing this it is vlogmas day one so go ahead tune in with us for vlogmas this was not how i thought the first vlog was gonna be but i try to keep the vlogs in order so yes y'all getting this video today so i'm gonna go ahead and start editing it so you guys can watch this today you boo boo Okay, we about to, I'm going to change it, okay? We're going to try to potty again? Potty. Toilet. Toilet. Okay. But, yeah, so stay tuned with us for Vlogmas. This is my first year, y'all. I'm just starting. Y'all see my channel is just now starting. So stay tuned. I'm going to try my best. I kind of got... In my phone, a whole note section of the vlogs I'm doing. Um, so, yeah, that's what we got going on, y'all. So, I'm about to put these groceries up. And then I'll see you guys in the next video.